Sir Ram and welcome to this first episode of Prashanti Chronicles where we share with you stories behind every stone and every pillar behind every tree and every statue every temple and every bower of Prashanti Nilayam and we begin with our most adorable umbrella Ganesha so the story of this Ganesha goes back four decades to Michelle and Richard of US. So Michelle came to Bhagwan way back in March 1970 and Swami very graciously got them married and gave a room to them inside the ashram West 6A26827 which is just next to the Ganesha that is where Bhagwan gave them their abode and once they were there one day Michelle came out of her room and she saw something which really moved her she saw that this entire area, which at that point in time was a large junkyard, she saw a young lady sitting there and crying, and crying her heart out, crying out with so much of pain, and she felt that that lady just needs to be left alone. She's looking for a space where she can connect with her Swami and unburden herself. And when Michelle saw that, something touched her very deep, and she felt, how about converting this whole space into an area where people can connect to their deeper self, where people can speak to Swami, where if people come into the space, they feel comforted, they feel love, they feel the grace of Bhagwan, they feel hope, they feel love. So that is what prompted her to start with something which will totally convert this place and the next thing she did is she went to Bhagwan, made a beautiful letter and a card, presented it to Swami and Swami very very lovingly blessed it, placing his hand over it and that's it. There is no turning back, he called, she called a few workmen, cleared this entire area and her good friend Orchard and Robert James, another very devoted couple, they came forward and they went to Bangalore, they got a car load of plants and garden material and soon a little pond came in this area. And once this pond came, Michelle was so happy that something has emerged, but there was a problem. There was a leak in the pond. Whatever she tried, she was not able to contain that. And one day when she was at the work site, you know, she was praying to Swami, Swami, please, you have to help me correct this pond. And she says, you won't imagine, I was just sitting there praying and a lady comes, a person comes and he just looks at Michelle and says, can I help in any way? I am a mason. And Michelle said, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted a mason or a carpenter to fix this. So that is how Swami was guiding her every step of the way. After the pond was done, next she wanted to do a stone terrace. And from out of nowhere comes this Frenchman who was not only an expert in making stone terraces. If you see the garden, there are beautiful stone terraces. This person was so devoted to Bhagwan that every stone that he carried while making the stone terrace, he felt that he was carrying his heart and giving out to Swami. With that dedication, he was someone who felt that he was like the Rama, like the monkey of the Rama army, you know, making that bridge where Rama would walk. With that kind of commitment and love, he built that stone terrace, taking Bhagwan's name at every step of the way. And once the stone terrace was done, the pond was there, and now Michelle felt we need to have someone a figure, a form which people can concentrate on. And that is how the beautiful Jesus, the gentle Jesus with the lamb came here. And the Jesus was there, the pond was there, the stone terrace was there, the garden had really emerged so beautifully. She would take these pictures and show to Bhagwan off and on and Bhagwan would always be so encouraging. And then something else occurred. This whole area that you see here, this was complete rubble, pieces of metal, brick, stone and Michel thought, you know, how, how am I going to clear this? This is going to be a much bigger challenge. And just that thought comes in our mind, that morning, out of, again, out of the blue, there is this old metal vendor who comes and clears that area. Michel never asked for it. She never even contacted anyone. And immediately after this is done, a bunch of boys from the college, they come and ask her husband, Richard, Sir, we want to do some seva, any work for us. 
and they clear this entire area. She says, I did nothing. It was Swami all the way. When you have a pure thought, you can see God's signature on it all the way. And that is what was happening. Once the area was cleared, Michelle and Richard, they were Ganesha fans. They used to collect all sorts of Ganeshas. Ganesha sitting, Ganesha blessing, Ganesha standing, Ganesha dancing. And they had seen this Ganesha, you know, Ganesha happily, merrily walking. One hand, he has an umbrella. On the other hand, he has his water bottle, the Kamandalu. Such a delectable form. And they thought, how about recreating this Ganesha? Because they felt this is a place where when people come, Ganesha, they should see a Ganesha whom they can relate to, a Ganesha who is cute, a Ganesha who is just happy-go-lucky, a Ganesha taking a walk in the park. Imagine the young lady sitting there crying and Ganesha goes to her and says, Hey, what's wrong with you? Come, come under my umbrella. I will look after you. I am your friend. That is what this Ganesha has been doing to everyone who comes to this place. Next time, when you are in Prashant and Liam, don't miss to befriend this Ganesha. This Ganesha is waiting. He's telling, I am there. Come under my umbrella. Don't take life so seriously. Come, let us take a walk in the park. Everything will be fine. You are going to shine. This is what this Ganesha is telling us, welcoming us all the time. And there is so much more to how this garden came, how the Ganesha has developed over the years. We'll put the detailed story of this on our website, radiosai.org. And we are going to have, by Bhagwan's grace, perhaps more episodes of Prashanti Chronicles where we'll share with you the stories behind how this entire beautiful Prashanti Nilayam has taken shape completely by His will, by His grace. So, brothers and sisters, next time you are here in Prashanti Nilayam, don't miss your date with this eternal Ganesha who has that elephantine love for us, who will always be with us. Let's come under his umbrella and let's celebrate. Thank you so much.